trying to look at the table. Why? Why can't we put the, the TV? He's just going to stand there the whole, sit there the whole time and do it. Like I'm right. going to look right at the camera as well. Do I do it now? Right. Yeah, you're ready, whatever. Three, two, one. Good morrow, and welcome to the first ever. <laughs> In person, in one room, vice press, open channel. Who says good morrow? I don't know. I do. <laughs> oh, good morrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm my, in my day. <laughs> right. You may have noticed that I don't really think what I'm going to say for these intros. Just <laughs> make it up as you go along. So, yes, we're all in one room. We're doing a podcast. It may sound different because we've just got this one big floofy microphone that I'm not going to actually touch because it'll blow everyone's eardrums out. Um, and we can have a chit chat. So I'm over here because we just did Thought Bubble convention. In, we did. In the York, what's it officially, the Yorkshire? North Yorkshire. North, North Harrogate. Very specific. Harrogate. What's on the poster? York, the Yorkshire, Yorkshire Comedy Festival. Festival. Oh, yeah. Yorkshire Comedy But it's Festival. the best one in the UK. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's the title of the convention? Yeah. Yorkshire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yorkshire. Yeah. I thought you meant where is Harrogate? Yorkshire. North Yorkshire. Harrogate's it's not Yorkshire. Yorkshire. It's water. Yeah. They, got, they make water. They do. It's a spa town, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is all going terribly. Pretty tired. So we did, yeah. We're all worn out. We've been, they've yeah. brought me up to Manchester to show me, well, not culture, just <laughs> another place. Just loads of food. That's... Food. Oh, my God. We've had so much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've got these cans here. I'm starting to sweat cheese. Isn't it? That we designed. And we were going to have them on the show, but none of us can stomach actually drinking. <laughs> so we're just going to have them on the table. James is going to unpeel one. Oh, he's unpeeling it. Oh, right. it, looks it looks better on the inside. Northern Book. Yeah, that was a fun one. It's pretty good. There you go. That was that thought bubble. Some people, nice people said, oh, look, I bought some new cans. And I said, that's fun. Yeah, so it's part of their patrons project. Excuse me. So the brewery is Brewed in the North with Brian Dixon. Oh, is that so, the guy? Isn't that the guy from Megadeth? No, <laughs> Iron Maiden. Brian That's Dixon. Bruce Dixon. Dixon. <laughs> he is. He is from. Up know, north, is, he, is he? Yeah, I think he went to school in Sheffield. Brooklyn. Yeah, works up. Yes, from works oh. up. Um, it is a DDH IPA. 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 Oh, IPA. That's like what's, that's got weed in it. What's What's DDH? No idea. Hmm. Diamond Dallas. Harold. It's just some <laughs> beer, but it's like nearly 8%, which is surely not nice. Uh, I do want to open it. No, I get it. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's just only 7%. Oh, it's not my own. It's like an old edition. You're going to have one. Yeah, yeah, going for it. it. He's bullied himself into it. I'm on the Iron Brew to try and keep me alive. But I'm it's doing it. the opposite. Whatever that means. It's been infused with raspberries and black carrots. So oh, it's okay. It looks like beer. Is this migraine in a glass? Well, it's in a can, so it should be fine. <laughs> I only drink cans. <laughs> oh, drum roll. It tastes like a normal IPA. It doesn't taste like a, D- seven... a DDP. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it doesn't taste like 7%. It could be deadly. Yeah. So what happened at Thought Bubble then? Um, what did we do? Saw lots of people. Mm. They bought lots of things. They had. I feel like they had a good time. I had a good time. Yeah. Um, you sold a few things. Guys, there's a bit of a there and... was a bit of a rabble there on the first morning. There was. Um, what else? Then we just sort of sat around for two days. Yeah. Highly stressful situation. It's with Maybe. those with those things. I find actually being at the convention is easy. It's, oh, yeah. it's everything that leads up to it. There's so much. It's kind of like a duck paddling underwater. Isn't oh, it? yeah, yeah. But what you see, you should try and be more like me. I didn't think about it until <laughs> the week of the convention. Yeah. And I was like, oh, better think about that. Oh, one. look, all my tablecloths yeah. and, and backdrops just happen to be in the van. So, they're already there in the, the boxes. So me and James <laughs> have been planning for, I don't know, six months to bring me out here and how it's all going to work and what day I'll get there and what we'll do on those two days. This one, <laughs> this one like... Four days before the convention, he's like, right, guys, we've really got to get onto this thought bubble stuff. Let's get planning, eh? I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. like, Sorry, he's like, all systems, his soul systems go, it's our graphics, and we're going to make something, we're going to do this, everyone finished with everything, and well, we're all like, mate, we've been on it. Well, do you want to know what, though? What? 
if we want to go there to that zone, it's been very busy. Yeah, it has been very busy. I've been working my ass off. I heard that. Yeah, every day. Yeah. Yeah, you have been busy. We're not saying that you haven't been busy. It's just the tone that we're saying it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, well, just say, yeah. yeah. See, it was fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was. It's always nice to meet folks. Tom Chester's from Bay Framing kindly brought me um, my airplane quad that he framed up for me, yeah. which is nice. That's going up. What what did you buy at the con? Did you, either of you two pick anything up? I'm actually, drinking this because it's actually really nice. I'm this, it. this year, I didn't even leave the thing. I went to the toilet twice, and I didn't. We were kind of like weirdly run off our feet. I didn't get I, to go see anyone. I didn't because, get to stop. Yeah. Who did we meet? We met some nice folks. So Christian Ward. Christian Ward came over and said, oh, "I missed him." Oh, did you? I went and bought. Well, I I. I thought you were we need talking. to send him a poster. Yeah, probably. A message me. I was chit chatting to his um, whoever was helping him on his booth because every time I went over, he was off gallivanting. So I bought a book from him. Jock came over. Jock came over, said hello. John missed, Pearson missed him. That's one of the times. Oh, I missed John there. Pearson. Yeah, you were you were busy when he was. Oh no, you'd gone out for lunch when he came over. Well, See, so I just bounce him. every now and again. I just, and I just walk. Yeah, and she was. Oh yeah, she's cool. I want to work with her. She's good. Good she answers. Um. Quite a few folks. It's good. Ro the Rogue Print Co. guys. They're always fun to knock about. With I, saw, I saw them in the rain when we were putting stuff in the van. That's the first time. I saw them. That's it. Then we chit chat with Raid and all the post posse guys. It's mm -hmm. nice to catch up with folks, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, for me, it's like not even catching up. It's just like, oh, I know that name. We There's put a face for that. We name. put Batman on in the cinema, yeah. which is the first time I've ever seen Batman. <laughs> yeah. in so we have a ongoing thing where I am convinced that we went to the cinema to see it in 2014. I even have messages that prove to us that yeah. we saw it. I said to, I asked Kate, I asked Kate, did that happen? And she said she can't remember. But no, no, you no. Know, I've seen the it messages, happened. but I, it, it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> it's fake. The whole thing. He's written it all out. Oh. So you Taking saw, a screenshot. So you saw Batman for the first time. First time ever in the cinema. I can't believe it. I didn't see it for the first time because I fell asleep about 67 times. Whenever whenever someone shot someone or a car crashed or something, I was jerked awake like that. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is. Good movie. And without it being a big circle jerk, um, the Everyman guys were really cool at this both cinemas. They were really mm -hmm. helpful. They helped put on a really good screening and everything. Um, shout yeah, shout well. out to the first cinema. First time my favorite yeah. for various reasons, but yeah, it was good. They were good. We have, we've, it's been good. It's been a good weekend. Weekend, so week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> <Month>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. It was nice to have a poster there with the um, Return of Khan, Wrath of Khan that I did, and then all my little watercolor things. People seem to be into. Some little kids bought some uh, nondescript plumber from an. Nondescript. Another mother. An Italian plumber. He's not Italian. Definitely not. Couldn't be. Spanish. He's from, yeah, from Brooklyn. Medi generally Mediterranean. <laughs> He's a standard plumbing man. Prince, anyway. Kids up like those ones. That was fun. Uh, Prince, like, as in... Prince came past because he heard we were putting yeah, Batman on. Yeah. Came back <laughs> from the dead. back dance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lots of good feedback on our new venture, which releases to the night that we're VHS. recording this. So we got the VHS going now with the Evil Dead, and we're going to do more, right? If yeah. it sells well. So everybody yeah. better bloody buy it. Fucking buy it, and then we'll be on it. Yeah, and anyone saying that, oh, good nothing to play it, or one, nobody plays these How things. many vinyls you got? Yeah. How, How many, many DVDs do you put in? Uh, none, because you just look for it on Netflix or Sky, yeah. don't you? Uh, and also, we managed to get, what have we got now in the office? We've got two VCRs and two combis. Yeah, yeah, not hard to get. We haven't paid a penny. Just for ask around, and there's old mm. people everywhere that just got them still. We have had a lot of feedback around folks asking whether they're PAL or NTSC or both. They are just PAL. There is a reason for that, just because of the licensing. Because we're in England and we're PAL, that's why. Yeah. Get, um, get bent, Americans. Yeah, but the thing is, is you can get a converter. Because I remember when I was a kid, my friend had a converter, and so he could watch international videos because he yeah. used to like collecting horror films. Mm hmm. And you get better ones from America, obviously. And it's just they're, they're a few I'm, quid, and I'm it just converts it. Pretty sure our player played both of the kids. Yeah, yeah. in Australia, everything's important. So, yeah, I think a lot of them do, and you can pick them up again. Pick them so, up. what would we do in terms of dream videos Sweet after Evil Dead Two? 
Transformers the movie. Transformers the movie is number one on my list. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles is, is right up there. Flash Gordon is one personally I'd like to do. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is bang up there. Back to the Future is another good one. Yeah. Basically all the 80s movies. Terminator 2. Terminator 1 and 2 should have in a box set them. would be amazing. Should have been on VHS. And then it would be fun to do, I think you mentioned this, it's like put Tenet on. Yeah, just new <laughs> stuff like Dune. Dune figure out how to put like a four hour movie. Dune would be sick. Yeah. Two tapes. But we'd have to do it pan and scan as well to really wind the old Nolan up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think you could convince Nolan. You know this film. He might get a kick out of that. Yeah, oh, Nolan <laughs> created brain <laughs> cameras. <for. laughs> but no, that should be fun. We've been working on that for a long time and teasing that. In fact, it was last time the three of us were together. We started sorting all of that out. So that's been um, that's been fun. So yeah, well, I'm looking forward to that. By the time they see this, that'll be completely sold out, right? It will. Yes. So there's been a there's been a lot of good feedback on that. So we do plan to do more. We've got a couple of ideas, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Well, it's just to... whether we can or can't. Yeah. yeah. If it does well. Yeah. 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 So support us and buy it, everyone. Yes. Yeah. Sure. If everybody that listens to this buys one, we'll be quids in. Well, we have sold 25 of them. So that'd be good. Exactly. Yeah. That's more than, more than <laughs> enough to justify making more run, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one of the things, <laughs> one of the things that stuck out to me at Thought Bubble was the amount of people that came up and um, said that they listened and watched Open Channel. Now, which is outrageous. More they are all like the people that, that are fans and stuff. Yeah. One one half of them, I think, are liars. Um, <laughs> they just know it exists. Oh, I, I love your show. It's great. I thought we'd had it on mute. Oh, so, that would have been. It'd be flashing, wouldn't it? No, yeah. it's going. It's got the thing. Yeah, yeah. Be, 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 be. Um, so that was nice. That was a nice little kind of... I can smell that beer. I want to open that can there. Do it's it. actually really nice. Do We're going to need to have a piss halfway through this, though. Well, oh, it's, you can't get out of the answer. Tough stuff. I'm just yeah. going to do it here in front of the if anyone, could, if anyone could see the setup that it's taken to get this, we've got a <laughs> frame balancing on a sideways table with a lamp on it, and there's all sorts of shit over it. I guess now we're into planning stage for next year, isn't it? Is open house. Yeah, all of the big mm. stuff that we've had. Has now kind of come to fruition, hasn't it? Not yet, for me personally. Oh yeah, for you personally. I've got a massive thing coming. Well, it never ends, does it? Really? It's always something. Oh, actually, no. We're telling a lie because we've got a meeting on Tuesday about the next the next big thing, haven't we? The next big thing. There's always a next big thing. Always always big I've got thing. a massive thing probably in. And <laughs> 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 full stop. <laughs> <laughs> massive thing, me. That's it. Wow, this seems a bit strong. <laughs> oh, just oh all my glasses, motherfucker. <laughs> we went out to the shops oh, and I bought a new uh, Transformer from the, what is it, Rise of the Beast? Because it was half off, it was like 30 quid. Um, it's pretty cool. Look at the price on that, though. You should get the what's, price in. 30 bucks. What's obscene? 30 pounds. What's obscene about that? It's 30 pounds. That's a good price. It's a nice That's what piece. it should be. You can put the box on Seven. display. It's an awesome box. It is. People have paid seventy pounds for that. That, well, was, a, that, that was yeah. Let's put it on display. It was eighty-five pounds, though. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. So I've got an absolute bargain now. I don't know how I'm going to fit it in my suitcase. So that was from Game, obviously. So we're now going to say they're a good shop. I'm we're probably, not, we're not gonna... officially um, being sponsored by them or anything. Yeah. No, obviously, but they were good. I'm going to throw out thirty pounds worth of underpants to get it in my bag now. That's the only thing. <laughs> I was surprised at how much good stuff they had in there. Do you need to take the box back? Wow. That's so cool. We could ship it to it. It is a cool box. No, that's it. Figure it out. Yeah, it is a cool box. I might just throw some socks on. I know we've just been wandering around Manchester trying on jackets. <laughs> yeah, we've done this. Oh, little... These two, they're like jacket mad. They've got jackets. And then they're like, let's get more jackets. So we've looked at a million jackets. I buy shirts, but no one makes quality shirts anymore. No. It's just, we're done. They have to make them out of plastic, woven plastic. Mm. That's what they all are. It's there's a brand shit. There's a brand called Rock that I quite like. They make like wool. Blends. I stuff. like Faro. Faro. Give me some make a cotton. That's cotton. Yeah. We're just gonna, I'm just going to have to do it myself. Are we just naming brands we like in the hope that we get some free shit? Yeah, send oh, me free shit. I've never had a free thing ever. I got those free Kit Kats that time. You guys give me some stuff. Yeah. Free yeah. Arrow stuff. gave us some free stuff, which was nice of them. They Who? sent us Arrow. Arrow, Arrow yeah. yeah. We're, we're getting some Warriors off of them. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So, I don't That's a good one for me. Oh, we can say, yeah, we can say they're doing more reasons. Yeah. That's it. Come out to play. We haven't signed nothing. Let's just. Give all those trade secrets out. Yeah. <laughs> all these posters. 
Hey, on it. God, trade know. secret. Good. Oh, no, that's not good on there. Just press the button. Yep. Create a poster now. now. It is due it's amazing how many people miss that button on the keyboard. Yeah. yeah. I haven't found it yet. Well, it's create Matt Ferguson poster now because obviously they're the best ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then on the bottom, on the underside, hanging off, there's a flurry one. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't really work. Are they add ons that you have to pay extra for? You have to really spam it to <laughs> get it to work. I get um, no, it's like sh it's shift Matt Ferguson poster. That's where it works. Oh, control alt shift. Yeah, right. and then you push yours, but it just makes it a bit shitter. <laughs> so if I get I, on my um, Instagram feeds a lot, I it's get nice. a lot of these in uh, Photoshop shortcuts and how to do stuff and this that and the other. And most of them are all AI themes now in terms of how to. It's get all it's going that way. It's bullshit. I guess you guys get a lot of that. If I'm getting it. Well, I mean, we're all, it's all being put under the blanket of AI, but it's like... I Some mean, of it's not, like, a problem, like, I don't know, like, upscaling stuff, when people upscale... James, what? He's can't still you here again. <laughs> it pour it inside it. The can's broken. <laughs> anyway, like, like, the same when they use it to, to restore a movie or something, mm -hmm. that's okay. not a bad thing, I don't think. Or to revive the Beatles. What we've... Yeah. That's well. That, that's that's weird. Event, right? It's weird, but also I don't think it's like it's not generating um, new material, is it? No, they're just separating out voices from because yeah. it was like a mono track. Or that's whatever. what they're doing. That, that AI has just been used to kind of create. So like, stuff like that, I think, is fine. Like upscaling old movies to try and make them more up to date. It's when it's creating, trying when it says it's creating something new, yeah, but yeah. it's actually just a man, an amalgamation of someone else's work. That's why it's dodge. I guess that's one of the things. Like anything that's created for good can also be used to, for evil, isn't it? Evil. So the the good, like you say, there's going to be loads of films out there that have been unable to be upscaled to 4K or to this, that, and the other, or whatever. Well, that's so, be used that. Good? So lots of people for the longest time. That like, isn't that, that what, they are 4K? Isn't that, Scaled AI. Thing. Isn't that what Cameron's doing a bit of on the abyss? Yes, yeah, using it. Will be, yeah. yeah. It'd be interesting to see what it looks like. Probably a bit waxy and smooth, yeah. but he likes that but look because the Terminator 2 um, 4K is like that. Yeah. They did it for the 3D and it, and it's, it's really waxy. No, oh, no film it? grain. Oh, I have seen that 4K, uh, that 3D one. Well, when I used to the colors as well. When I used to do, because you know, you get, I used to, I don't know, I used to do design more so than all this. And you'd be doing like a you know annual report or whatever for a school, and they'd send it's all shit photos taken on someone's digital camera, and you just needed yeah. that little bit bigger. You bump it, you what is it, median sharpen thing, and then like you say, so you'd blur it, a high then you pass sharpen or whatever, it, yeah, blur yeah. it, then you sharpen it, then you put noise back into it, and that sort of gives sure. you, it can give you just that little bit more. So I'd say it's doing can, something, like just get the edges. Yeah. So it's doing okay. something a little bit similar to that. What's well, yeah. what you? It's what your um. It's just automated, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's what your phone does when you look through and you edit a photo. It's like a bit shit, so you overexpose it, right? And you, then you can just adjust that blur, sharpness, and noise. Mm -hmm. You do that in the right combo, it just looks a bit nicer, right? Mm. So that's, that's all. It's, that's all it's doing, I'd say. But they just have to remember to make sure they put that noise pass back over it. The noise is. That's what he's not doing if he's doing that. The film grain is very important on films, I think. I think so. Yeah. Oh, we've got 7% uploaded. That fills me with confidence. <laughs> That's good. Well, we'll it's leave it going. going yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah. just leave it on while we go out. Stream's all right, this internet. Though. I stream some. Yeah, it's been yeah, streaming yeah. fine. It's been streaming fine. should be all right. We'll see. That was boring, that conversation. Oh, yeah. that's fine. No. Yeah, well, you know. Can't all be winners. <laughs> <laughs> Um, me and you, we went to see Marvels the other day, didn't we? Yeah, Chloe? we saw all that. S somebody's not seen it yet. Yeah, you've been busy to be fair. I would say. I was working. Yeah. Not lazy like you two. So, what I, all we need to really say is. Please. <laughs> all we really need to say is good movie. Yeah. Go and see it. It's a lot of fun. Everyone saying it's not good is a peanut. Agreed. Well, you know, there's a lot of that pile going on. around. Bit of a pile, pile on, on, isn't it? The general consensus that, and I think a lot of news outlets have generated that, is the whole sort of. Uh, superhero fatigue, you see that yeah. written a lot. Yeah. Fatigue, but you well, can, think, but you can like westerns, that... right? Like what they say, westerns there was made a million westerns in yeah. the 50s and 60s, and then they were like, and then by the 70s, it was over. Mm. There's been really good westerns, yeah, probably every couple of years yeah. since then. 
There's two issues. So it'd be the same, and just maybe it just needs to focus and yeah. make less. Well, there's two issues at play, isn't Which they it? seem to be doing. Is one, there's the fatigue side of it, which is understandable. They've been doing too much, pumping too much out. Two, and the burp. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> that wasn't point two. <laughs> <laughs> point two was some of them have been lower quality, but they're, yeah. you know, there's a lot of these websites, I know I've harped on about it before, that do their whole clickbait thing around yeah. the negativity, and it's the, it's a huge pile on. So you've got it's got no chance to stand out, but even, fundamentally, it, even it's, if it's good. Even if it's like just slightly not as good as the last one, they'll right. people will pile on because it's always got to be like better and better and better and better and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, and it, you, there's only so far you can go with that. Streamline, there's, simple. There's something to be said for just a film being good, good movie. Mm-hmm. Just watch it. It doesn't need to be. It's all our fault because yeah. we wanted every single eighties film to have a sequel to it back in the mm-hmm. day, and they did that, and then they're never as good as the first one, but they still make money. Is there any eighties movie that's had a sequel that's better than the first one? I don't think there's. Top uh, Gun. There's almost only Terminator Two, and that's not eighties. I, I don't know. Top, top, top that first Top Gun was really good. Maverick. I prefer. I don't like Top Gun one very much. Well, Maverick's. Uh, Maverick's great. That's but that's personal opinion. We're talking, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. you mean like a legacy sequel? Oh, just any sequel. Any sequel. I think Terminator is the only one. Yeah, Terminator 2 is definitely better than Terminator. Oh, no, I really Impressive. like Terminator, though. Oh, well, yeah, you can really like I'd it. I'd say they're Terminator both the same. Two is a it's bit not similar. Aliens and Alien, that's kind of like... But Alien mm-hmm. is better. They're different. They're, 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 it's a bit like Terminator 2, it's, it's a different thing, so then it... Be, instead of just the same movie again because hmm. that's what everyone's problem with Ghostbusters 2 is is that it's like the same movie again but it's still good it's Ghostbusters so 2 by, by, it's just by, not different by comparison to any other film made Ghostbusters <laughs> 2 is a very good film <laughs> in comparison to Ghostbusters 1 it's an inferior product but I will say this Ghostbusters 2 has two of the best scenes in Ghostbusters, yeah. in any Ghostbusters film. Try the flat new one. What was that? What's what going on? What's ballooned <laughs> on the screen? Is anyone else seeing Did this? you set that to happen? Congratulations. <laughs> I wonder if they'll see that, the kids. They might have seen this isn't going to get uploaded. This is dead. No. Yeah, yeah, this, this is fine. They might have, if they ever do hear this, if, if they uncover it after, after we all die in this little alcove one day. Maybe they'll see the balloons, or maybe not. I genuinely don't know what's going on. Well, it's still, it's well, just, just, just it's not still. Let's, let's, just, let's just keep on. Let's blooming. pretend like it's going like normal, and this is just a blip in the middle. Who gives a shit? A yeah, I can middle. edit around. Um, no, leave that in. That's no, leave it. In. Ghostbusters. Um, uh, <laughs> the trailer for the new one, Frozen <laughs> Man, or whatever it's called. Frozen, Frozen Empire, Empire, the worst, the worst name ever. Yeah, looks alright. Looks good. Take the spikes. Not enough laughs, maybe. Take the spikes out. That's stupid. That's modern, dumb CGI crap. They should have had a big cloud and some twinkly ice, and that would have been enough. You maybe know? it'll have yeah. more jokes in the actual movie. I well, think Paul so. Paul Rudd's in it, so he's going to yuck it up, isn't he? The film looks designed. Well, I liked Afterlife. It was good. So did I. The film looks designed to get bums in seats, doesn't it? Because bums. it's got all of the cast in it. And it's got Carrie Coon, my face. Yeah, you know, you've got Bankman in there, you've got Winston, you've got Ray, you've got all of the new characters, Kamal, James A. Caster, Patton Oswald, they're all it everyone that's kind of been announced on the cast, or at least rumoured to be in it, is in that trailer, right? You've got the nostalgia stuff, but what it does is it doesn't give away too much of the plot. But it makes it look cool. Stuff's getting That's frozen, but big, who's freezing it? Yeah. That big man. That big you only see him for a second, right? Then? Yeah. Yeah. Tall I hope man. it's not Goza. I hope it's nothing related to no, Goza. No, 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 I'm Vigo. Vigo. I don't want no Vigo. That's what I don't want. Just make a new ghost that does things. We don't need any of that. It'll be, like, it'll be like Sanchez the Carpathian now. Be, you know, his, brother, <laughs> his brother or something, you know? Yeah. Because the story... I don't know why his brother's... Spanish, because <laughs> yeah. like going back to the Marvels thing, right? The villain doesn't. Ha- the villain is almost kind of second. The villain is secondary to them as a team coming together and doing all of that stuff. Mm. It's like with Ghostbusters, with Frozen Empire. Fucking terrible name. The, the thing is, them kind of getting back in business and learning to be proper Ghostbusters. You know, that's the thing so, though with names in movies. They tend to have to have like this big name, like mm. a thing nowadays. Rise of the Beast or whatever. Yeah. Just be like. 
Transformers six. six. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Well, but they don't do you know they don't do that because it's it's diminishing returns on us. Why games go usually with video games? It's one, two, and then it'll have a subtitle because no, once, Black Ops or once whatever, they, yeah. it's like two is like oh it's that big sequel to that thing that I love, and then once you get to three and past it, like Ugh, more of this. I've never been like that. Like the Star Trek movies, I always just love the the, the Roman numerals yeah, up until it's one six. of these dumb. Yeah. It's one. It's like a, having a poster for forty eight ninety nine. You know. It's one of these mental tricks <laughs> that they use to uh, get people to hey, get into more things. Hey, no, don't, 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 don't say anything else. Without numbers. <laughs> don't, don't say anything. <laughs> oh, my God, they got me. Twenty nine ninety eight. It's only twenty pounds that, but it's actually thirty pounds. Oh my! God. Well, it cost me twenty pounds. If you know what I mean. um, well, I said to the guy, "You can keep change." <laughs> yeah. him cash. In the most aggressive way. Yeah, like, don't I don't want that. I said, "I don't want that penny." <laughs> he, cry, he went crying down below the desk. He actually got five p out because I don't think he had any pennies left in the till. And it's just going to back to game dot org or whatever, whoever. I just. Tip jar. Yeah. They don't do that, do no, they? No one does tip jars. No. Nah. No one oh, does no. cash. I don't think you've ever done it in retail shops. Hmm? It's like the Vimto, really the Vimto man. Tips in retail, is there? The Vimto man last night got a tip. And he oh, yeah. The oh, Vimto oh, drink was amazing. Used. We had this yeah. Vimto drink, everyone. I don't know what... I learned what Vimto like is last night. Stuff. Yeah. What was the drink? It was like rum, triple lime, sec, triple sec, Vimto. Yeah. That's it. And then he stirred it all up and it was... Amazing. We should go back there. We should. Oh, we should. I we'll will f- say this about this trip. Should we forget Food? this podcast and go drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take this with us and just walk down the street. Man on the street style. The Ask food the has question. been questionable. Actually, no, the food's been okay. But the cocktails have all been. We've not yeah, had yeah. Like the burger wasn't good. great. We had but a the good cocktails were good. Ooh, that was ooh. very good, yeah. What was that place called? Dance? Northern Soul. Oh, very good. Cheese I enjoyed how aggressive the waitress was. She was like, you better have the mozzarella. <laughs> and I was like, all right. <laughs> and we did. We, we did. did. And it was tasty. Oh, I what did I have? Mine, my, she my... She said, like, you're idiots if you don't have them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yippee-ki-yay. I feel something. like we might be idiots because we did have them. Because it was just a ball of cheese. We ate too much food yesterday. And we're going to do the same thing later. We're getting chicken. Chicken. What's it yeah. called? The yard and coop. Yard and coop. See the big old fox. Oh, oh my god! Go, going after his chickens. Fox yeah. in the hen ha- in the chicken. Yeah. Coop. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to sing it because they have some hen houses in there. You get to sit in. The, sometimes if you sit in the booth thing, it's like done out like a little hen house. Oh, yeah. goodness gracious me! Yeah, it's great. Good cocktails, and that's a northern quarter, so it's near Affleck and Brown, so we can go back for another Vimto. Yes. Yeah. Two Vimtos. See you oh, mate. Oh, the tape rev rubbed it off the thing. No more of that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I had to make three of these. We've stupid run out things, of the bloody Vimto. Things last night. Well, they added on tap. Who has Vimto on tap? No soup for you. Well, it's just a syrup and, a, and soda. There's water. some interesting um, uh, drinks on tap here. I got Iron Brew on there tap. Are. I had a pint of yeah. Iron Brew. Full yeah. pint of Iron Brew at lunchtime. It was like, <laughs> what are we doing? After three coffees, sun kissed as well. They had sun kissed yeah. on tap. Same sun kissed lemonade, which I didn't even know was a thing. Yeah. We this place we are going to has the cherry aid on tap, and I love cherry aid. Cherry. What else are we talking about today? Uh, we got the VHS thing coming out. Oh, we just talked about it all day. Yeah, I know. I'm just recapping out. I don't posters. Know. I'm doing more posters. Oh, feels like this feels much longer when we're in person. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I hate talking to you two idiots. I think it's right. getting more wrong. Yeah, talking shit to each other. Uh, t- so, uh, oh, I suppose we don't have any questions. More Star Trek. We can't do any of that. Oh, I think we've got some of the We've got Lower Decks posters and Picard Series 3 posters. Yeah, they're coming out soon. Yeah. We can sort of talk about that and say, ooh, that's interesting. It's planned for next week, so this week is this out, is out, but it's all depending on we're just waiting for Paramount to approve something. Um, so it'll be soon. It'll be in the next week or do so. Do I need to... No, it's nothing we can do. Um, it's just you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, and we've yeah. had some. Um, we've had some cool. We've got some cool new bits and bobs. Some artists that we've not worked on before have been doing some bits and bobs for us as well. Bits and bobs. You like to say bits and bobs, don't you? Yeah, it's a good little filler word. It is a good filler word. Grammar, crazy, isn't it? Trying to... My, uh, crazy grammar. What's it? Bits and bobs. Fuji me flip. Fuji me flip. That's a good one. Fuji me flip. Fuji me flip. I just sort of say. 
And I want to... Don't want to. Oh, we went to NQ64, played some video games oh, yesterday. Oh, that was great. Outrun, we found Outrun right at the end and we yeah. could all play together. Three, three players. Play. Yeah. We all won a match, didn't we? we all, I won. We won at the one. end. I won the last one, yeah. So this idiot doesn't drive, right? No. Why am I looking at the camera now? Um, <laughs> it's very frustrating that he drove the pretend car faster than us right for the last match. And crazy taxi as well. Really annoying. And crazy taxi. Yeah. And yet you put him in a car and he's like my mum grabbing onto the little thing at the side. Oh, watch out, James. Yeah. There's a van. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> pedestrian. Pedestrian. He, against the vapours. being in a car. Between us, we've got a tango and cash thing going. You can drive and I can be on the gun. Yeah. I don't know where I'll be. I'm, so, I'm um, what's his name from Lethal Weapon 3? Have you ever done an arcade game like that where you're driving? Yes, and yes. It, and we talked about what, what game. Uh, it's not called, it's something that. like Hit and Run. I remember yeah. Road Rash. So there was literally a steering wheel and a gun. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. and you and the, you, the, your guy was like, he'd hang out in the window. Oh, man. Yeah. I was drunk last night when we talked about it. I'm a phone really stuff, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I wasn't. Road Rash was good with a motorbike. Yeah, <laughs> with, them with the chain. That's one of, those are those games, though, that like, I think every couple of years, someone says, oh, should make a new Road Rash. And then they eventually do, and it's rubbish. Yeah. It's never it's, like, it's just, it worked at the time. It was simple. It was cool. You hadn't had that before. That's why that place was all old arcade games, because they're just yeah. so simple. Like that Terminator yeah. 2 one was great, and all it was was just the Mega Drive. There's exoskeletons, and you're just well, shooting them. One that I couldn't yeah. believe you guys hadn't played was the Simpsons arcade. Never played that. That was that's, great. That's, that, the Ninja Turtles one and the Simpsons one was the one, they were the ones that I. Yeah, we would go to... I played the Turtles one a lot. I remember going around to some yeah. place in Sheffield. The Simpsons arcade machine. Incredible. But they all, they all had the original CRT screens yeah. as well. My eyes, yeah. after when I got um, downstairs and got into bed, were burning. Because yeah. <laughs> you're in the dark. It's like a, it's, got a, it's a UV. Everything's glowing on the walls or whatever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Blacklight thing. And then you've just got bright white CRTs about four inches from your face yeah. for four hours. <laughs> Did either of you like when you were kids, like the local chip shop or the local yeah. takeout would have an arcade. Because oh, oh. yeah. the Street just Fighter 2 Turbo was, yeah. well, it wouldn't have been Turbo, was in, um, yeah. just Street Fighter 2 was in chip shop. No, we yeah. like, um, probably Championship Edition or whatever. We didn't, where I lived, like my arcade, my arcade experience was, we used to go camping a lot in campsites. So the so campsites had one. They always had a Jesus in their com community room, room, right? Yeah, like a common room thing where With the table tables. tables. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. We'd have games and stuff in there. The swimming pool had some good stuff like Terminator 2, Pinball. Oh, yeah. Where I grew up, Herringthorpe Swimming Baths, they had some really good pinball machines. Yeah. They'd just be in weird little places, wouldn't they? I would love a real pinball machine. Mm -hmm. You know, a real one. This sounds great. Most of my Ninja Turtles playing was at a place called Rainbow Park, which was in an industrial estate. And they've taken one of the big yeah. warehouse things, right, and put a miniature. I don't know what you call it, like a carnival inside it. So it had, it had a fucking what do you call it? Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. It had like a where the tunnel turns, and you have to try and run through it and land in the balls and like all oh, that sort yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you go in there, and they'd be like, "Oh, you get in, and you can, you can have tickets for all the things." But then I had a bank of like four arcade machines and maybe a couple of pinballs as well. Yeah. So I was like, "Dad, I'm not going in there. I'm going over here." Give me a stack of coins. Because you had to go into the thing was uh, yeah. like 10 bucks or whatever. Like, give me 10 bucks in 50 cent pieces and I'll just like play turtles. Much better. Was yeah. there any questions? Uh, that I you think... can do from memory. <laughs> <laughs> could make Because if we touch this computer. We could talk about. a bit of shop on the Star Trek Wrath of Calm post and now that's down. Oh, talk yeah. about what you were thinking. What was I thinking? Well, we'll tap up. You're the one that fucking made it. Yeah, that was a bit of a fluke, I guess. I was like, oh, I'm going to do all the bits and bobs, going to have all the spaceships firing at each other, and we're going to do all this. I was like, none of that was working. So I was like, what about big space face and cool hand? Make it scary. Because it, well, he's it, reaching out to try and grab it, right? Well, that, that was, that's the whole thing. That movie is full of, like, slow dread. Because they're, you know... They're, they, don't, they never actually meet, do they? In the yeah, they time. don't know where each, things have happened, and they don't know where each other are or why each other's going to where they're going. And he's just trying to... All he wants to do is fucking kill him <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so he's just chasing him. I was just sort of like, it's that, what did I have in my head from Hal's heart? Stab yeah. a thing. <laughs> and that was actually going to be the tagline across the top. We eventually changed yeah. that just to be more poster. The old Klingon proverb. 
revenge is a dish best served cold. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's what I was thinking, and that's sort of got the good. And he's just got great eyebrows. I thought oh, guy's just... awesome, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to have at least Khan on there because it's not he's not like other guys where you could have. You could do Spock on every poster, but Khan's just in. I know he's in the one episode of the TV show. Yeah, yeah. But he, this man is—it's his film, really. As good as Kirk is, and all that sort of stuff. It's, yeah, that's what everyone remembers. Khan's awesome, and Kirk uh, Shatner like really owns it, especially at the end. You know, when he does the eulogy and stuff. Yeah, those, it's those two. Everyone else kind of falls. Spock a little, isn't it? A yeah, little bit, it, but, but those two really own that movie. But it's just, with a with a poster, you want to try and sum. Usually you're trying to sum it up, right? You're yeah. trying to yeah. what, tell a bit of the story. Yeah. And I thought, uh, you're going to get the nebula. I wanted the nebula for sure. Well, it's sort of like when they're, they're trying to get away and they don't get the engine on, mm-hmm. and then Spock gets the engine on, and they shoot off, but obviously then Spock dies. Yeah. Oh, spoilers. 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 <laughs> You've not seen it now. It's your own fault. It's like 50 years old. Right. <laughs> well, it's just like the and that's, it makes me think of that bit because he's there and he's like mm. looking at the view screen and he's like, no, you can't get away. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I had in my head. So that's good that it makes you think that. And I just love that glove. I love that glove that he wears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just on the one arm, isn't it? Yeah, because he takes the other one off when he's doing the putting the earwig yeah. in. Yeah. What I found amazing about that whole film was that... Was it his pecs? Uh, it's, the other thing that I found That's amazing from that film was that Kirk and Khan are never in the same room for that film. Oh, yeah. yeah. They oh, never meet. Space no. They amazing. just talk. On, yeah. You, you know, there's the same thing. set. So the, yeah. the set that he's on yeah. is a redress of the Enterprise bridge. Really? Just changed a bit. So they filmed them completely separate and then... And so they never actually happened. really spoke. So there's a thing. Yeah. There's a thing. A few things online. When I was doing my people at Thought Bubble may have seen that I've got some um, on locations. The watercolor series that I do. I've done a couple of bridges. I've done the, the D. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Each. If you buy three, you, you no, get, you get them free. Not on mine. <laughs> if you buy three, then you don't have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I had to research these bridges, right, and get them right. So I watched a little video on how they did it, and each. It's a circular room, right? Yeah. So each panel is on wheels and can be... So they can put the pulled. cameras wherever they That's need, it. yeah. So they can be pulled out and shifted spot. It's oh. all modular. So basically all they did was, right, right, we've got the two doors on the Enterprise, right? Whereas, yeah, they've got the one yeah, that yeah. side, one that so side. So lift and then... So they pulled wherever. one turbo lift out, put it in the middle, pulled the two, like, view screens from there, put them either side of the door... So they just move it around and then paint it, paint it green, a different gray, color, yeah. light, put a different color light in the ceiling or whatever. It's a different ship. That's kind of awesome. And they did that for the show for everything, years, right? On the show, the, the old sets are repurposed. Like in TNG, most of the sets are repurposed from the movies. Yeah. So they used like a lot of the like the Klingon um, bridge, which is yeah. in the movies, like four of them. That's loads of different spaceships, and mm. they just sort of change the lighting or move a few pillars around, and it's so, different. And you'd never know. It's just a masterclass. In well, you know, like, ten, yeah, here's, a, here's a good one. Ten forward, right? The bar in Next Gen. Yes. Do you remember Star yeah. Trek Six when they go to visit the president, and he's in his cool last office, and they, and they, I don't know if you remember. The president of the Federation. Yeah, yeah, that cool with the grey hair. Oh, That's okay. ten forward, and they just put curtains up. <laughs> That's so, that's outrageous. And then, like, have it daylight. Yeah, it works because it's the naval ships, right? Space, well, they, they are all going to be the same. Yeah, they yeah. should all be the same. That's something that annoys me actually about more modern stuff. And um, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of the new Star Wars. Trek, is a bit like that where everything is different. Everything, even if it's in like the same class, like, it just even, yeah, it just annoys me. I get that. You know, what annoys actually shut. What annoys me <laughs> most is when. Every ship has a new, a different outfit. What's yeah. going on with that? They're in the fucking navy. You don't all get to wear your own. I know they yeah. can just replicate them. They do that on them. Star Trek now. Yeah, it annoys me. It break it breaks the immersion of the world for yeah. me. It, that's the best thing about Star Trek. Was it three, four, five? Right. Where it's they're all they're stuck. They don't have... up to six. They've all got that. Outfit. Yeah, so they're just oh, they've just and you feel like they're not even washing them. <laughs> they've just, just got them on and they're oh, stuck with that because they they end up in a Klingon ship, don't they? So they don't have any of this stuff. That's when they're wearing their civvies in in three and four. Is it? They've not got uniforms. Yeah, so, well, that, no, that's that's when to, yeah, yeah, yeah Chekhov is like dressed as Pinocchio. Yeah, that's right. Stuff. So they got that stuff, but it carries through. That's the best thing. Same outfits. Yeah. yeah, same outfits. It makes sense because if they had got new outfits from. 
nowhere in space, you know? Yeah. Oh, I, I was like the design of the bridge, right, in Star Trek with the, the two consoles at the front. Yeah. And then the chair and then the stuff around. Yeah. That that guy, Matt Jeffries, did in like the, it was like the early 60s when they designed it. That carried through to all the other Star Trek. They always have that same basic layout. And then Navy ships have similar layouts now on their bridge because it's like so good for flow. The guy was a genius. He designed that ship like the Enterprise. They just came up with that because they had the flying, you know, they had a flying saucer. Mm like Forbidden Planet and stuff, and Gene Roderick was like, yeah, flying saucer, maybe we should do something a bit different. And yeah. then they gave it purpose with the... Stuck some shit and, on it. And it just looks, it's so iconic. Because the, this guy came up with it. The main disc detaches, right? Detach. In Next Gen it does, yeah. Oh, okay. It doesn't in the original series. Uh, okay. Wasn't the battle, the battle bridge is Khan's ship, isn't it? When it yeah, that's out. a redress of that yeah. same And bridge. then once you know, you can really, you can really tell. You can tell. It's so good. It's the best. Oh, carpet on a spaceship, eh? Yeah. Carpet. On a That's the thing you want to... The, the movie is not so much, but like uh, the good Star Trek TV shows, the key thing, I think, that makes them good yeah. is when you want to live there. Yeah. And that's why out of all the new ones, Strange New Worlds is the one that everybody liked. Yeah. Not because of the stories or the characters <laughs> <laughs> or the writing. It's because they've got these um, these amazing bloody bedrooms and stuff that you want to... The yeah. quarters are so cool. Oh, eh? Yeah, Captain it. Pike's got a, got a fire in his. In his he's got a fire. Yeah, he's got a fire. In his, <laughs> it's not real. It's like a spaceship fire. But he's got this awesome quarters. Man. It's so cool. And you just think, I want to live there. Yeah. Yeah. Have they not done? Have they done hotels that you can just? Uh, someone's got to do a hotel. They did it in Las Vegas, didn't they? So there's the Star Trek experience, oh. and they did up the hotel. I think. Oh, really? Just yeah. stay in a little. And they had Quark Spy, you know, from um, DS9, so the Ferengi. Yeah. They could go get drinks from Quark. Mm. Mm-hmm. Star Trek, tra- Star Wars tried that, didn't they? With um, it, they, they always fail because it's so expensive yeah. to keep up. Well, I think the problem is, is with that one, they kind of tried to add in the the like role playing stuff was no, the cruise not, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not compulsory, but it was part of the whole experience. Where uh, you, could you imagine me doing that? Oh, oh, I mean, I could, and it's hilarious. <laughs> Just be like, although I will trying say, trying to make them break character. I know it's not part of that, but I do want to build a lightsaber. That would be fun. Yeah, I want to do that. Bit. That's yeah. the normal yeah. theme park. But though, they're it? still carrying on in there into character. Yeah. Oh, we saw those lightsabers earlier, didn't we? Force effects ones. Yeah. Yeah. If everyone buys the VHS, like we're all going to buy lightsabers later. Yeah. I'm having purple. What are you having? Green. Well, you have to have blue. Layers one. That's good for you. Yeah. Red. Get bent. <laughs> <laughs> This is cool though. It's like copper sort of color, right? Yeah, she's got. Really it was cool really cool, colors. actually. I would go. Um, I don't know. Probably just Luke Skywalker, classic yeah. silver. Actually, that was the one that was the least designed, wasn't it? That one literally is just the camera with some yeah, some bits and bobs, on. bits and bobs on it. Yeah, stuff on it. Bobs. Just bits and bobs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What else we got? Well. Um, I could talk about more Star Trek if you want. I could go on. Go on. on. Keep it going on forever. Lower Decks has that as well. Lower Decks has that where you want to know them and you want to live where yeah. they live. It's just awesome. Yeah. Oh, we had Sophie Bland's Wicker Man as well, didn't we? Uh, Wicker Man poster is very good by it. It came out really well. That was There's kind of weird. not that huge amount left, is there? No. So no. That's, that's, well. there's a few. It's both those with the foil can sold out. By the time this goes up, you need the regular mic. There's not so many left at all. And then the Wicker Man, there's there's not very many left of those either. That stuff's. Yeah, and the Batman all... was timed, so that's done. Yeah, and the Batman was timed, so that's all gone. It's about three hundred of them or something. We're doing an edition of three hundred. Two fifty, I think. Two fifty. Yeah, two fifty on the timed. And then the, yeah, the, there was the screen variant as well. Uh, so I, th- I think this year. We've not got many new releases left this year, but we're kind of stacking, lining up for... We're, we're like, going to have Christmas next. gifting, so we're going to try and get everything out and mostly in stock by the end of November so that if people want to get stuff as a Christmas gift, then they can-ish. For no reason. Because <laughs> yeah. traditionally we carried on putting stuff through December and yeah. it just doesn't really work out. No, does it? so in stock stuff will definitely be out yeah. for Christmas because we'll ship that as it's in. Anything that says pre-order... Just read the product descriptions because pre-orders work. We're, we're trying to get stuff in yeah. stock. Every day when we ship stuff, we always prioritize the in-stock orders. So the in-stock orders get done first and then we move on to the 
the pre-order mm. stuff. So anything that's in stock should be out in the Back to the Future. Batch. That might not be out before Christmas, the Drew Strews and ones, because we've not even had them delivered yet. Yeah, but they printed them. They are. So yeah, they'll but be there's other stuff they'll before. Be they'll be here soon. They will, but it just goes to the back of the queue. Do I have to do a bit of this with the no, printers? No, I'm not again. You can do a bit of this. A bit of rolling. You're going to get in there and roll some prints? Oh, you mean as if they get shipped? Yeah. Yes. Rolling them, putting them in the shapes and sticking stickers on. But well, we are trying. Yeah, we're going through. Because we are just the small team. Very small. So we're kind of doing that. I'll tell you what. You know what I've realised this whole trip? I'm right. brilliant. Sure. Uh, so <laughs> I came in Rude. a few days earlier than... <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. A few days earlier than last year so that I could count my own prints and pack my own things and these guys didn't have to do it for me. Or more likely, James's wife, Nat, didn't have to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have or to... get Kate to do it. I didn't yeah. have to feel her eyes burning through me from the other side of the world. Um, I really hate posters. and <laughs> 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 I can't yeah. believe that they can have that as a job where oh, they just ship goodness. prints all the, the time. It's the big ones. It's like, oh. why don't you say that quad, the quads look great, but we ain't doing them because they're so impossible they're to good. ship and store. Yeah, and no. You have to get bigger tubes, tubes that are like this bloody big. Yeah. So what, this... I, what I would wish is that when people, when things arrive damaged, stuff very rarely arrives damaged. We have custom packaging and stuff like that. It's very rare, actually. It's very, very rare. But when you email in, just maybe be a little bit nicer. Maybe. Be always nicer. Says... Everybody's always so nice to me on my oh, side. Oh, it's like, oh no, this came and it's, it's got a little bit of damage on it. I don't know what to do. For the oh, yeah. And I go, just, I go, hey, have another one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's generally what happens. Yeah, that's right? basically it. Rip it up and have another but one. But I think it's like with with you guys as artists, they see it as I mean, they're nice as the artists. Yeah. yeah. Whereas when they're emailing mm -hmm. vice press, they think, oh my god, there's like forty people here. They're all going to be assholes. They're all going to be it's just him. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just me. Just him. So next, yeah, if you get in contact with anyone, and you know what? If you if it gets yeah. bigger and carries on, I might have to do it. And if you email me and you're Ooh. rude, you're going to get a proper reply. <laughs> James is very professional. Me, not so much. I'd be like, what's your problem? Do you actually want another poster? You better act respectfully because otherwise you get nothing. Yeah. And I think that goes for when you email any company, right? If something goes yeah, you, wrong. If you're nice, then you tend to be, we, I'm, I tend to be a lot more sort yeah. of, um, do you think as a, give a lot more allowance if, if somebody's nice. Do you think as a society, we're a little bit more on the back foot now because we expect people are going to try and screw us over when we do that. And that's why you oh, get. I think online cool. shopping means lots of people think that there's a lot more sort of, I can just send it back. Yeah. I think, yeah, not everyone's Amazon. I think I'm like, oh, well, how come your shipping's not free? And it's like, because we can't afford to do it for free. Yeah, it would cost do us. It we do, we'd lose money on shipping because we do it yeah. a little bit cheaper than it actually costs. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we absorb like between three and five pounds per item on mm -hmm. shipping. Which is, just goes to show. Same on my store as well, because you want to charge a nice amount that's reasonable. But shipping, especially to Canada yeah. or whatever, is a fortune. If it, if it doesn't fit through a letterbox. It costs a fortune. Yeah, I suppose like with your um, because James runs the also runs the James Frames, frame, <laughs> James Frames frame company. James Frames, frame from no, James. The Frame Co. Yeah, Jamesy's Framesies. What's it called? Jimmy Jam yeah. Frames. <laughs> the Picture Frame Co. Right? The Poster Frame. Poster Frame. Oh, God. James. James Frames, frames, frames is what it is. <laughs> That's just it. Anyway. They, James Frames is good frames, though. They're they, awesome frames. Yeah, they're very good frames. I'm not well, just saying not that to plug them. The guy that emailed us last night. <laughs> uh, well, but, there's always so what I was gonna, well, the, reason really I was, the reason I was getting on that, just go under the table, it's um, not out now. The, uh, <laughs> when we were trying, because you were getting them developed or whatever, and you're like, oh, I'll send you guys some so you can see what you think. And then you couldn't send me one because it was going to be oh, my, 80 90 pounds, pounds yeah. to send yeah. me a, one empty frame. So yeah. What's the show. best thing about those frames is the little push round clips on the back because you know like a, a lot of frames you get that are uh, off the shelf they've got the little clip things and they always just get stuck up your yeah. finger then it gets stuck right up yeah right up your butt yeah no we deliberately did that <laughs> just because we wanted them to be able to quit like if we all swap posters around right mm. so it was just so that folks could do that you should do um clip frames you know like cinema oh when you go yeah, right, now sharing. I think somebody has that. Like, like they have a little cinema room, yeah. and they have like the now showing yeah. light. And then oh. when they want to change the poster for whatever, so they put like 
during October they'll put horror posters in. Yeah. And they're like a clippy. Yeah, you can get some nice so an item cute. poster and I can't remember. Does what it it doesn't look as as framed, it doesn't look yeah. like it's up in a Yeah. No. So well, enlightened do those well, light it does look cute. And they have they're quite square profile on their their click. Yeah. And then oh, I I've got one of those. Yeah. Pro- yeah, we've got a couple in the office. They're really good. But the problem with them and when you get to do that is you lose the rigidity. Like the same mm. with the IKEA frames and those kind of things. They just warp and wobble and all of that. Yeah, for yeah. Oh, can't right. hold it in anymore. Anyway, we'll wait until you're back. It's all right. Oh, where's, 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 where's all right, we'll carry on. Going? Look, but look, anyway, it's sliding like this. Like the, the, <laughs> the, the um, we went with the solid wood just because it doesn't warp this much. <laughs> It's been on seven percent uploading. But... Yeah, I think we might be fucked here. Once we stop, maybe it'll go. Continue, maybe. What I should have done is I should have done a backup audio with Audacity. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just see what happens. It's fine. We've probably lost it all. Yeah. I could already do with a Wii as well. Go on, I'll just talk to myself. Wii. So everyone's gone. They've all left me here. What am I going to talk about? I can talk shit about them. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, thank goodness. Finally gone. Guys, I can't wait to get out of here. Sure. I cannot wait to get away from these two. I tell you what, these English. Whinging. Tell you what. We've got this lovely house here. We've all got our own bedrooms, toilets, showers. Great stuff. Oh, it's a bit hot. Oh, I don't like the stairs. There's too many stairs. I'll tell you what. Jeez Louise. I mean, I've been saying the same things, but. It is what it is. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Thought Bubble, it was nice to meet everyone. It was nice to meet all the artists and everything for me and all the people that come across and they're like, oh, you know what it is? I think it's a little bit of a recharge because the internet in general is very negative. Yes, people say they like the poster, but then there's also just as many people that are giving you shit in your DMs and all this sort of stuff. So it's nice to sometimes come to a place where everyone's just enjoying the thing that they like. There's people dressed as weird cats, some chick with a giant sword. That was all fun. I just like to see people doing the thing that they like, you know? Oh, here's James. Hello, you've got the nicest bathroom. Oh, yeah. Because it's well proportioned. Oh, yeah. I, mine, mine, I think I, ch- I chose well, yeah? You chose wisely. I just threw my bag into the best looking room and right. no one could say anything about it. I got greedy. I went to the basement. My bathroom's... Bigger than my kitchen diner at home, I think. Oh, yeah. So when you're taking a shit, it feels... Yeah, it kind of does it. <laughs> <laughs> it's disproportionate because you're, like, huddled there in the corner. Oh, you feel like too open, open, do you? Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But my... my... Smell like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You've had too much coffee. <laughs> you sound like... I sound like Zippy. That's what I sound like. <laughs> So we've rented an Airbnb. That's where we're in. I was just telling him all of it. Oh, yeah. No, this is my house. Yes, your house. I just love Please. to have bits of wood <laughs> stuck on the floor, the floor, the wall. Oh. It's supposed to take it. But uh, what I've been noticing, because I'm mental, is that they repeat patterns. They're not real. Oh, really? Yeah, it's funny. Oh, so they'll be in blocks of like I think four so. by four. Because if and there, there might be clips, but if you look, oh. so if you look, it's real wood though. It is, but some of them repeat. So I don't know. Because you see there's a bunch with the corners out that look very similar. There's so one, two, three, oh, yeah. four. And then you see here there's one with like two cracks, right? Yeah. yeah. And then four, uh, three across is the exact same thing. You see it? Well, it's probably cut from the same piece of wood, right? Possibly, but it's very similar. Look, these two here, same knot. Yeah? There we go. So be, it'll be the same. And the one today. It'll be the same baton. Right? Let's go. Mm-hmm. Bush, 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 Maybe. Bush. But yeah. Yeah. Does the does the job? Oh yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. These aren't real. It's yeah, like a veneer. It's probably a veneer. Through. But they wouldn't cut like that. It wouldn't yeah, go it's through. Not, like... No, it's not a veneer. That'd be too much. It's the same log that's just. Well, been... this is fun for <laughs> it goes all the way through. <laughs> if you know whether they're veneer or whether they're real, <laughs> anyway, it doesn't look good. I think it looks good. No, it doesn't. That's how scintillating our conversation is that I've actually been concentrating on the wall behind James's head this whole time, trying to figure it I out. See, you see that with tiles all the time, where there's like yeah. four or five different tiles. Our, our yeah. house is like that. When I'm pooping, I'm looking at the floor, yeah. just wishing my, wishing my life away. So yeah, You notice the pattern, you know? Are we done with this now? Yeah, we can wrap it up if you like. What are we on? We, we got, need we got to go to cocktail. <laughs> Wait, okay, quarter past three. So we've got... 
to be back here in two and a half hours for the VHS release. Oh. Um, I want to go and buy snow globes and bee based merchandise. Yeah, so let's go and wipe them for a couple of hours. Let's snow say globes. bye to these people. Snow globes so can... from where? Like that crappy, um, tacky souvenir. Oh, like souvenir place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't looked around spinning fields properly yet. What's that? It's just a posh area around here, isn't it? In it. Look, I'm fit. Let's go. Yeah. Should we wrap up? Okay. All right. Well, that's been it then. Uh, you good made, day, sir. A good day. A good, good, mo- good morrow. Good morrow. That's another episode in the can. We'll never be doing this again because it was a bitch to set up. Yeah. Well, either that or we buy it's out awkward a thousand as well. microphones. It's, it's definitely weird. And yeah. It's very hot in here because of our hot bodies. Hotbods.com. Melted. Check it out. Uh, all right. Well, we'll see you next time. I'll be back in Australia. They'll be here. And we'll be back to our usual sound quality, I assume. Yeah. More people listen. That's what I want. To the yeah, I'm just telling everybody. The, the problem, the you problem is you can't tell them to listen if they're not listening. Yeah. I just did. You're the one with the most followers. So. Yeah, twat it. Put it on threads. That'll get it going. You'd be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bye-bye from us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.